Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Robert from Cash's Treasures, and I got another video for you today. Actually, a couple different things um, from a couple talented artists. Um, the first one is going to be um, from Anatomy. Anatomy.com does super awesome artwork. Um, he put together this sticker pack from uh, kind of like the the 80s and 90s, uh, some old generation, you know, kind of stickers. Um, so let's take a look and, and see what's in this sticker pack. So let's take a look and see what we got here. So these smaller A's, of course, are uh, from the company name, uh, Anatomy. So, and if you take a look here, um, that's the uh, website. If you want to jump on there and uh, pick up this sticker pack, um, I know it's it's very limited. Um, well, should I say it was very limited with the additional uh, garbage pail kid cards that uh, he included with it. So he's like, hey, the first twenty packs or so, I'm gonna include a, a garbage pail kid kind of surprise in there, a few cards here and there. So knockoffs, seventies um, and eighties. 10 dumb looking stickers in a pack. Um, so basically, if you jump over here, um, stickers designed based off the late 70s and early 80s style of stickers. All of these designs are parodied based off of stickers you would see in an old sticker albums. Uh, the scratch and sniff stickers don't actually smell. Uh, they are just mimicking the original designs. So let's take a look. And like I said, the, uh, the A's here are for his uh, company, um, Anatomy. So it's a cool little A with a face on it. So, and let's take a look at this one here. Scumbag. It's a cool little scumbag sticker. Got a couple of those. Another scumbag sticker. And we got a little sticker that says, eat shit. And it looks like he's got teeth that are corn. So that's kind of cool. Another one of those. And then funny how this one is, I'm going nuts for you. But it's a heart. But then you turn it upside down. And of course the nuts are the right side up and uh, that's what it looks like now <laughs> awesome cool little sticker there too and we got an anatomy van so fun little sticker pack and let's see what's inside of the uh the garbage pail kid pack here i didn't look at it i have no idea so we got this one right here, Charred Chuck, Porcelain Rod, we got a uh, Wax Max in a black parallel, and we have a Quaker Quinn in a green parallel. So that black parallel is a, a decent little hit there. Um, it's not a numbered parallel, but it's still still a cool parallel to add to the, uh, to the sets. So... And, like I said, it's an awesome little sticker pack. Uh, fun little sticker to throw on different things. Um, so, and if you like to get your set, uh, right there is the website to jump on. Check it out. Give it two thumbs up. <laughs> now, let's take a look at this. This was something that kind of came about uh, from a story off of Facebook. Um, there was a Facebook group that somebody had, um, some stuff that they had put away and it got water damage. Um, and so it was completely ruined. So they went on to Facebook, um, and, you know, was just saying how, uh, you know, devastated that they were, that, um, this item was ruined and, 
um, the awesome person that originally did that item spoke up and said, hey, let's do this item again. Let's replace your item and get you all squared away. And oh, by the way, since I'm helping you out, let's go ahead and throw it out there and see if anybody else would like this item as well. I'll tell you who the artist is first. It is the very talented Steve Potter. I'll show you this first. This is just a print. This is a print of a Garbage Pail Kids uh, comic book cover that he did. But the signature and the Best of Yuck are actual uh, signatures. So you can see um, the actual marker through the paper. So it's a print. This is not by any means a sketch or anything else like that. But it is a signed print. So talented um, Steve Potter signed it and always puts best of yuck on his stuff. So awesome, cool, you know, stuff like that. So um, don't want to make, um, you know, retro hero jealous, but it gets even better than this signed print, bro. The actual item that was destroyed was Mr. Steve Potter's Garbage Pail Kid coloring book. So, he did this again with a ton of coloring pages. Awesome stuff. Junk Food John on the front cover. It's a great front cover. Kind of a, you know, a play on kind of golden books kind of thing. Um, so, super awesome. And... If you picked up a copy for a few dollars extra, you can get the awesome Mr. Steve Potter to put you a sketch on the inside cover. So, of course, Steve Potter is one of my favorite artists. So, of course, I had to get him to put a sketch on the inside cover. And... I kind of left it open. So, this is the sketch that he chose to put onto the front cover of my coloring book that I purchased from him. Look at that. So, Nat Splat, personal sketch, giant sketch. It's an eight and a half by 11 size sheet of paper that's on the front cover. So you have to imagine that sketch is what? Four inches, five inches by six inches? A giant sketch? No, it's not a colored sketch, but it is an awesome sketch. You can tell that he took some time with this. It's not just a kind of a five, se five second sketch that someone threw together. And that is awesome. That is awesome stuff from the, you know, the Mr. Steve Potter, the very talented Steve Potter, you know, and, you know, that was a great, a great character to put in something that people don't do every single day. Like, it's not an atom bomb. It's not a nasty Nick. It's not a dead Ted. You know, it's it's not the, you know, those normal ones that people see all of the time. This is an obscure character, and it's great to have that obscure character as a sketch in my coloring book, and I'm super stoked. The day that I got it in, unfortunately, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to reveal it with you guys, so I saw it prior to. I got so excited, I couldn't wait to see it on video, so I had to take a sneak peek of it before the video and you know it blew my mind so i'm super happy with that super excited with that but that being said there's still a whole coloring book to take a look at and this coloring book is awesome stuff i mean no i'm never gonna color in it but it's a tremendous 
coloring book with the layouts and everything else like that. Just the awesome artwork. A great all-around coloring book. You know, great stuff, you know, from Steve Potter. Wardy Ward. And he's got warts coming out of him that are, you know, other Garbage Pail Kid characters. Awesome stuff. Great little um, gremlins. Brainy Janie's Garbage Pail, Garbage Pail Kid quiz. Awesome dotted... Um, Hippy Skippy. Take your uh, path, get through uh, the path there. And also rename your Garbage Pail Kids if you wanted to give them different names than what they originally had. Color by Numbers. Dot to Dot. I don't even remember the last time I did a dot to dot. Great puzzle maze again. Garbage Pail Kids, a cool um, group picture. Making a mobile. Another Brainy Janie Garbage Pail Kid quiz. So also rename them. Which one is different? I used to play those all the time. Finish drawing Spider Manny. Eerie Eric. Rename. Fun stuff. Karate Kate. There's Waldo. Some live mic. Finished Garbage Pail Kid Adam Bomb's head. Junk Fruit John. Rename him again. And the last page. Awesome, awesome, and even signed on the back, 53 out of 100. So super stoked when I saw that come up. Um, you know, it was something that I had to jump on. You know, no doubt there was something that I had to get and be a part of. And I'm so happy, you know, that I was a part of that. And I can't complain at all, you know, super tremendous stuff. But we can't overshadow anatomy and some great sticker pack that he put together. This cracks me up. The I am nuts for you when you flip it upside down. All makes, makes me want to put it on the back of my car. <laughs> like those people that have uh, those, those nut sacks that hang from their uh, kind of toe line on the back of their car. So. But if you like this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. We're only a few weeks away, believe it or not, from the Philly Non-Sports Card Show. The Philly Non-Sports Card Show is October 15th and 16th, um, where I will be meeting up with, uh, with Dan the Man, and uh, him and I are going to do a little collab video. Uh, uh, we haven't really worked out too many of the details, and I love that. It's kind of going to be on the fly, kind of do some stuff. We'll see what we can do. Maybe, um, you know, maybe we'll even do something like a... Um, 20 bucks kind of thing go see what you can buy the best for 20 bucks you know kind of deal like that how you see some uh you know youtubers will do like a spending challenge or 
you know, maybe we'll even do like a blaster box break or something like that. You know, pick up a blaster box, do a box break and, uh, you know, see who gets the best card um, out of the boxes and kind of thing like that, you know, and, and whoever wins kind of gets all of the, you know, all of the cards kind of stuff. Maybe something like that. You know, I haven't really spoke to too much to him about it, but uh, something like that would be super cool. But that's coming up really soon. Uh, October 15th and 16th will be the Philly Non Sports Card Show. But uh, that's going to be super awesome. And I'll be there for both days. And I did RSVP and sign up for the dinner this year again. Um, so I'm stoked for that. It's a Halloween theme. A uh, nice little penne as the, uh, the, the food for that. And there will be a special card that's only available for the, you know, for the dinner if you got reservations for that. So should be awesome. But if you like this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're not already. We're 85 subscribers away from that 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, so definitely share this if you know anybody that, uh, you know, loves this kind of stuff and uh, they're not subscribed already. <coughs> we're only 85 away from 500 subscribers. I never thought it would be possible, but we're, we're almost there, everybody. We almost did it. And it's going to be a giant wild giveaway once we hit 500. So give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already, share, and always remember, have fun.